This video covers detail views. The detail view is used to enlarge a portion of a view so the smaller details can be seen. Any closed figure can be used to generate this view, including circles, rectangles, ellipses, and closed B splines. These figures must be a single continuous path. After you have the closed figure sketched on the view, click on the detail view icon and then click on the closed figure. When the view is created, it will not be aligned to the original view and can be placed anywhere on the drawing, as well as on different sheets. Initially, the view will be at the original scale, but you can right click on it, select scale, and change the scale of it. Since the 2D drawing is parametric, if you change the part or assembly, the detail view will also update automatically. If you did not initially sketch the closed figure in the correct position, just left click on it and drag it to the correct location. If you need to change the size of the closed sketch for the detail view, simply double click on it and change the sketch. If you need to change the location of a detail note, left click on it and drag it to the desired location. Both of the nodes for a dimension have to be located within the detail view. Otherwise, the dimension will not be shown. This video covered detail views. The detail view is used to enlarge a portion of the view so the smaller details can be seen. Any closed figure can be used to generate this view, including circles, rectangles, ellipses, and closed B splines.